Kumusta lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark. Over here on my left side, we got Ingrid. How are you feeling? Good, thank you. Awesome. Over there on the other side of the court, we got our homeboy, James. How are you doing there? What's good? What's good? What's good? Awesome. And our very special guest for today, my homeboy. Welcome back to the show. Avish, how are you feeling? What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. Awesome. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling awesome because... NBA just keeps going and there's so much stuff that's happening. Maybe James, we can start it off with you. Um, today's um, NBA fun fact is Devontae Graham. When Devontae Graham was born, his mom was only 14 years old. They were living in paycheck to paycheck. He had a rough childhood. Nowadays, he's making millions in Charlotte Hornets. And he's one of the most improved and biggest surprise this year. So for you guys, who do you guys think is the biggest surprise of the year? Ooh. Who wants to start? There's so many players this year. I think I, I, I'm taking Brandon Ingram just because, I don't know, maybe it's just a change in the situation. Everything that comes from LA, comes out of LA, just becomes you know a revelation. Even so with Lonzo Ball, I'm yeah. taking him as well. That's been a big surprise to me as well. They come as a like a package, like in terms of their improvement this year. You guys going to just take the whole New Orleans team? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just, yeah. Just all okay. this or just, and we're also waiting on Zion, so we'll we're waiting see for that Zion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to take Bam out of bio. I feel like he is, uh, he's really improved on Miami. They're, they're second in the East right now. Bam, overall, he's one of those players that's like a positionless player. Um, you never really saw it last year, but he really sparked his defensive ability. Now he's getting over a, like a, a block, a steal a game. He's, he's, you know, he's scoring 16 and 10. He's one of those guys that's giving assists out to the team. He's just making the team better, and you see that in how Miami's performing. So it's kind of cool to see him do well. He's taking that dream on green role kind of in a yeah in a whole except new better. Level. Yeah, better, except better. More a better too. Yeah. yeah well he's got the height first of all yeah and and the passing ability is there too yep and i think he's helped miami to where it is now and oh, yeah, sure. i think they they're a dark horse team in the nba right now not even a dark east. horse man they're yeah. second in the east they're one of those teams they're showing that has, up <laughs> yeah that, yeah they, they got two key. like yeah. think about tyler hero yeah. Think about um, Kendrick Nunn. Like these are guys that you wouldn't have expected to to really escalate their game in what their rookie season, mm -hmm. and they're they're killing it. It's just like mm -hmm. a, as a team. Yeah, Jimmy Butler's not causing too many problems, which is awesome. <laughs> so I think like, he just fits the the, fits the Miami the, yeah. um, culture and that you know dog mentality that he had. I think Dwayne Wade kind of had that too, so he kind of brought him in, in into this culture that they have in Miami. It's still a long season. I feel like Jimmy yeah. Butler can screw it up at any point. So you never know. <laughs> you really it don't depends, believe in him. Yeah. I believe in him. I, got, I think he's got good Who work ethic. Who do you think he's going to mess it up? Dion or him? <laughs> Dion's going to be gone the next edible he takes. So I feel like uh, you can never really trust a guy like that when he when he's on your team. So yeah. we'll see how uh, Jimmy holds up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What about Shy? Like, uh, I mean, he's a Canadian guy that's kind of been the talk what this up? season. Yeah, like... Triple double. How is Very good the history that he's made? Like, Tell me those know? numbers. Yeah. It was 20, 20, and 10. Whew. That's like, a Canadian he, boy, guys. Yeah. Like, did awesome. you guys expect this coming in? Like, because the trade that happened, he was kind of unleashed because Russell Westbrook kind of left. And then so this was. No, but the, mm. I knew that he was going to step up now that Westbrook was gone. But mm -hmm. I didn't know he would be exploding, this explosive mm. coming into the season, right? Mm -hmm. So I was a big fan of him in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, okay. he, he's one of those guys that you realize how good he is once he's given an opportunity. Yeah. So in Kentucky, he came off the bench and they quickly realized he's one of their best players. And then when he made it to the NBA, the LA Clippers finally gave him a chance to actually perform yeah. um, pretty much as a six man. Yeah. Yeah. And then they knew what they were giving up in order to get Kawhi and Paul George, but it was one of those trades where win a championship now or, or go with your future. Mm -hmm. And OKC now has the Clippers future, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think OKC should do? Because they have a pretty good Set, you know, they're kind of like the Boston right now where Boston was a few years ago. Yeah. The picks and, and the player development. But what did Boston do in that situation, right? They traded yeah. for Kevin yeah. Garnett. Yeah. Right? So it's one of those things where they won a championship eventually mm -hmm. and they used all those picks to, to leverage into a current situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think either it can go two ways, right? The 2022 draft class is really deep. Um, maybe they get some, I forget what their first round picks are and what year, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's really recent and it's the next few years that they have some first round picks mm -hmm. and they either leverage that for a superstar, bring it in, tie with Shea, or uh, they just draft their next future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about other players? Like, I mean, it's been kind of low key mentioned. I mean, Jonathan Isaac's been good this season. Fortunately, he's got suffered. Man, a really Orlando's pretty good. Orlando's been good this season. I mean, yeah. Markel Fultz. Mark, yeah, I was about to say Markel Fultz. The way <laughs> that he bodied. Um, LeBron? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> who would have thought? I think he just needed 
a lot of players, I think maybe Ben Simmons is also in the same boat. Yeah. They, just terms, be, they just I need to be away out. from the sp spotlight, like, you yeah. know, away from all the criticism and, and all these, uh, just because all these talks is just kind of clouding. The Lonzo was in the same situation too. So hold up, if you, mm -hmm. if you were talking about getting out, is yeah. it Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid that you want out? Because I feel like Philly's got a situation now. You should mm -hmm. ask James that right now. Yeah, I feel James, like James might James. be a Philly fan. I, I don't remember. <laughs> He's the Philly yeah. fan. So yeah? If you... <laughs> we'll ask him. He looks uh, sweet right now. Yeah. I feel For like me, he's just fed up talking I about I think it. they should keep the players. They should just need shooters around. <laughs> but I think they just need shoot. shooters around. Oh, because... you need Sarich and Covington is what you need. Yeah. No, no, because no, when the first year we were, they were together, they were great because we had they had um, Ilya Sova, they have JJ Redick, and they yeah. have Bellinelli. They yeah. just They just need... They don't need to trade uh, Ben Simmons or uh, Joel Embiid. They just need a new coach because <laughs> I don't, I don't he's been on that since last season. Maybe, there's, like, maybe there's yeah. a better If there was a coach to be fired this season, who would it be? <laughs> It'd be Brett Brown. Yeah, see, yeah. automatically. I think it's Brett Brown. You guys? It's else? like the, the reason why he was great in the first season is because Brett Brown don't need to write, play, I, mean, I mean, draw up plays because he has shooters around. He will just have screens and all that stuff, and then J.J. Redick will make a shot. That's the same reason why Ben Simmons will be perfect for Warriors. If, if D'Lo go to the Sixers and Ben Simmons go to the Warriors, that's perfect for the Warriors because it's ba basically replacing Andre Iguodala, but a better passer and is a fast break guy. And I think you just need a better shooter around Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and then a better coach. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah, but I feel like you've had better shooters. You, you've had Landry Shamit. You've had... Yeah, you had Landry Shamit. Shamit, 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 Shamit was great. Yeah, Shamit was great. Yeah, was great they had the right pieces. It's just yeah. they could never make it work. So maybe you're right. It's the coaching issue. It's the coaching, man. I'm just maybe it's, uh, it's a management culture shift too, they Because right? they made that decision to get someone like Butler in, right? Who was not as good of a shooter as like Sarge and... Uh, well, they had... Um, they had... Uh, <laughs> against the Raptors. Uh, game 7. Oh yeah! By like five minutes left, they had twenty-four shot clock four times, and five minutes left, the game of your life. The coaching was so bad that it was just like we just lost. And it. Nick Nurse was that good? I mean, who knows what it was, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's saying, not man. give uh, the Raptors a little credit, yeah, right? That's that's right. It's like this guy was like four shot clock in like the last three four minutes. That's yeah. that's that's a key piece right there. I'm just saying. Totally. Yeah. I think we're all convinced right now in terms of what. James wanted to do for if he's the GM <laughs> for I think a he should be Philly. The GM <laughs> well, that's all we got, guys, for what's up in the NBA. But when we come back, all about the Raptors.